Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and in today's episode we're going to be looking at a little Honda mower that's just come in. Um, I sold the mower right at the beginning of the season. The mower's running absolutely fine right up until day before yesterday and it started to develop a, looks like a fuel hunting problem. So we've got to have a look at that one because the gentleman needs his mower back. Um, seem to remember it had a fuel leak once before and I corrected it by putting a gasket on the back of the carburetor. So not quite sure what's going on. It's not got a fuel leak, but it's definitely not leaking. There's fuel in the tank, it's been left overnight and there's still fuel in the tank now. So could have picked up some muck in the carburetor and that's why it's not running. It could be another fault altogether, but until we get it on the deck, I won't know what's going on. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this little Honda HRB. Right, and here it is, um, Honda HRB 423. Um, he says he absolutely loves a mower, um, really does like it, but it's just developed a bit of a, a fault. I'll just show you what it's doing. And that's pretty much it. So it won't even start off of choke. So let's get up on the bench and let's check it out. Right, let's have a little nose at it, see what's going on. Nice big spider in there. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, two eight mils to come off. Oh, that bolt wasn't even that tight. I wonder if that's come loose. Ah, hold up. That's weird. That bolt won't even do up. Put that one. Yeah, it's on. I wonder if that's a problem, it won't actually, it won't actually um, have a carburetor sealed. Oh, someone's had that off. I want to have a little look in there and need to strip that thread out. So I didn't put no uh, plumber's tape around it. There's plumber's tape around that. Now let's crack on with it. You might want a new stud in there now. There's definitely no fuel leak, which is a good thing to see. Which is what it was suffering with initially. Yeah, someone's been in here. Yeah, somebody's had a little sneaky peek. I think he is actually a plumber. These threads have been sheared, all of them. So I might get some new studs for it. I don't lose no bits. Little gasket on there and the hole goes to the top right. Oh, I can't get it off. Look at that. Plumber's tape. The so first thing I'll do, I want to establish which is on and which is off on the uh, tap. I can't see it in a minute. Won't tell me. Oh, that's right. This is the one that I was convinced that was ran the wrong way. Do you remember? This this goes this goes quite a way back now. Yeah, that that looks upside down to me. And I queried it initially. There's a spring. I'll just disconnect this off the governor arm if I can. A bit of a bend going on, but I can always bend it back, it's not a problem. Let's disconnect the fuel line. That one. That'd be nice. Oh, I 
make this so difficult. Come on. Give it me. There it goes. That can come off. Right, so now I can put that fuel line back on once I establish what's going on with this. Uh, this um, carburetor bolt might want to come undone. Let's give it a bit of therapy. With the old D-walk into reverse, of course. Let's get rid of that um, carburetor assembly. I'll bring all that into it. Let's see what we can do with this. That's the right way. There it goes. So now, I'll do it back up very quickly. I'll put the fuel line back on it, just so I can establish which way round that, that fuel was on and off, so I can um, do away with not knowing. So now undo that, fuel will drain naturally, hopefully. A bit of fuel there. And hopefully I'm waiting for that to stop, which it has done. Turn the fuel back on. Nothing. Ah, oh, you know why, don't you? That was Mrs. P on the phone. So it won't um, give me any fuel because I've got the fuel cramped off. Alright, so fuel is now unclamped. Bit of fuel coming out. Let's try and turn that off. Nothing. It's still, it's all going to my trade now. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned. Turn it off the other way. Nothing. So that fuel tap isn't doing anything at all. So that's what's looking into. And the first one I'm going to do is that is that fuel tap. Because if a fuel tap's not working, then it's either not working correctly, or um, we have a carburetor issue. All right, I've got a screwdriver that fits that now. It is a flathead, it should be a Phillips, but... Uh, I seem to remember having this off before because that groove there to me looks upside down and that's what I said last time I think that goes like so but my concern was it didn't fit right last time And that's how it should go like that, but I think it leaked last time. That's why I put it on the other way around. So let's put that back on that way around. It doesn't want to sit down straight, does it? Oh, dropping screws. Bear with me. I've got one in the hand and one on the floor. No losing bits there, Mick. Screw that down. Let me pick it up and screw up. Bop on the But if the fuel tap's not working, it's always on, is it the correct amount of flow? Should be, because it's been working for about four or five months. Right. I'll do that too tight, because them screws are at the limit anyway. They're sort of. Let's now put that fuel line back on. I thought it leaked out of here when I put it on last time. A bit of a dribble, in comes the fuel. Ah, that's working now. Or is it? Let's get rid of the rest of the fuel. Right, no fuel. Fuel. Right, so that's where it goes, so. That's cured that. So I was concerned last time I did it. If you look back at one of my other videos of this, this exact same lawnmower, you'll see that it actually had that problem before. I wasn't convinced which way around it went. It leaked last time. So I want to just nick them up. I 
but I still want to look inside this carburetor. So let me get a, let me get us on the bench, have a bit of a clean up, and uh, we'll have a sort out. Right, I've got on my little tripod again now. Just fix that because uh, it wouldn't tip over as I would like. That's why I haven't really been using it. But now I've just adjusted it, took it apart, and had a bit of fix with that. I can now get you extremely close. In fact, you're only about five inches away from the from the device. So hopefully, you get some nice close-up images of this. You've seen me do this before. For those of you who have and not interested, that's fine. You can move on to the next video or whatever. It's not a problem. I'm interested. That's why it's not working. So the only problem is now I have already drained all the fuel out. I would like to have seen what fuel was in this carburetor. All uh, right. So we have got a bit of sediment in there, as you can see. Some little tiny chunks of stuff in there. So that could be a part of the reason. And we've got some corrosion around here too. Look at that, bits of corrosion. So hopefully that could be part of the reason. And let me get a pick. Let's have a little look inside here. I thought I saw something in there then. Yeah, bits of dirt in there as well. So I dare say it's just gonna be, hopefully, fingers crossed, a quick carburetor clean job. We've got bits of dirt in here as well, a bit of congealed um, fuel just there. You can see that. So let's try and get that um, carburetor main jet out. Now, I did file down a screwdriver to try and make a better carburetor um, screwdriver for me. Oh, that jet was, oh, I thought that jet was really loose then. Mm. <sighs> that jet looks like that's been muddled. I don't think I can get it out. It does up, I can't go the other way with it. This is a problem with these, um, with these carburetors. So I may have to do it the old fashioned way, but it doesn't, it doesn't always work. Turn that around so see what's going on. Yeah, we're getting some stuff through there. Okay, so that, that jet's not gonna come out. I can see it's not, definitely not gonna come out of there. Which is weird, because it's, I've not had this out. Well, maybe it's before, it's a second hand mower, of course. But there's no edge on the back side of that jet. I can do it up, but I can't physically undo it. It won't come out, which is a shame. It's about time they, they, they manufactured these to have like a Torx head on the top of them. So you can get right in there and get a proper leverage on it. That is running out of there quite nice, so let's run some stuff through. That's running out of those holes there as I was expected to. One in there. Oh, that was blocked. And now it's running. I can see all this, all this stuff that's coming out on here. It's going to need a serious amount of um, carburetor cleaner uh, or WD 40 spray to uh, get this clean. Where does that go? Going out of there. Let's push some fuel around on the inlet and turn it off. Yeah, that fuel tap's now working as it should do. Not brilliantly, but it is working a lot better now. That's good. We've got a good general clean, a blow off of the air compressor. I want to take this screw out of here as well. which will involve me turning it in first. One complete turn, two complete turns, three complete turns, three and a half turns out. That's got to go. Yeah, the main jets are an issue for lots of carburetors because you just need to access that, that, main, that main tube jet. And without getting it out, I'm sorry to say it's a new carburetor because I can't guarantee how clean I can get it. 
That's got to come out of there. No dirt inside there, but that need blowing off as well. That was straight in the chops, that was. Okay, so let me fire up my air compressor and uh, I'm gonna blow this off and I'll come back. Right, carburetor has now been fully blown through and it's a lot cleaner. There were some bits come out of there. Uh, so I'm gonna blow that through very quickly, which I forgot to do. Go back into there. Only goes in one, one or two ways. This must be flat against the edge. Oh, that's stuck. That goes in flat. One of flat edges. And that pushes in. And that little screw then goes all the way in, and then three and a half turns back out. Good to see if there's a bit of um, a bit of dirt on there because uh, it just means that it's not actually something else wrong with, a, not wrong with your machine. That's not quite down as much as I would like, that's better. That goes all the way in. It's gonna be about, about there. And then three and a half revolutions back out. Lost it already, there. One. Two, three and a half revolutions. The bowl looks good, no cracks I can see, no dirt on it. That can go back in. There's a little pin to follow. It's just got to sit in somehow. Somehow, there it goes. So I can tip that up, <clears throat> give it a good spray off. Bit of a birthday. So that goes on like so on the machine, and I want to put that little tiny adjustment. I've got to clean the bowl out as well yet. I hope you can, you can see it nice close up now because uh, you are really close. That goes on there like so. And then that one tenor, don't over tighten these because you'll strip the whole threads. I'm using a spanner to do that up. I've got one more to go in yet, but that's the carburetor now clean and we can fill it back to the engine. Right, that can have it done up. Not closely tight, just gonna be well seated. That can go back in. And that one, I don't got too tight, so I want to be able to undo that a bit later on. I'm loving this new 10mm stock, 10mm um, spanner wrench I've got there from Tesco's, they were a whole set. Still haven't decided what to do about these pins yet. I might have to order some new ones up, but I want to see if it works first. And I may just, just back order some pins for him, some studs. Um, just so I can definitely get that to work. I don't think changing around, changing around would be an option because they don't go in very far. I think the threads have actually had it. Just want to try and hook up these uh, these little springs. And that's not the best spring in the world, to be fair. Let me straighten that up first. Just so it catches better. Better. So that one can go on the bottom, bottom hole. It's been a bit fiddly. Doesn't help having cobwebs in the way. I have told a bloke just to be careful when he fills it up with petrol. It could be that he's introducing contaminant when he's uh, filling up, which is very common. The top of the mower is actually full of grass, which is very common. Oh, that's got that. I just want to encourage that to go around a touch if I can. Just 
so it, it clamps on there just a bit better than what it already is. Something like that. That's better. And then that one can be turned around onto his little home. So I've got that, where is that one? Yeah, it's on there. Yeah, that's all on. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See the chokes working. When it gets fully choked, which it is, so happy with that, that's all working. That all goes back on. Fuel pipe back on. All the way up. I might try and find a clip for that. Just so that, that holds that better. So I think that may have been leaking through there. Yeah, I'm trying to find a little clip for that just to go on there. Because it hasn't got one. Two ticks. I'm get it to go. It was good to see that uh, Jacko and his small engine repair channel released a video last night. That's good to see. Welcome back, Jacko. If you're not subscribed to Jacko, Jacko Small Engine Repair, do yourself a favour and go and give the man a bit of support because he, he is in need of a bit of support at the moment. Um, he's got a good channel, he gets a bit flustered at times, but don't we all? Um, but he does need a bit of support, so go over there and tell him that Mix Mower sent him, sent you, and go give the man a bit of support. He is trying his best on his channel. more if I can without stripping it off that's it all right no fuel leaks now turn that fuel back on and test for leaks it may look out the back at the moment because it's not screwed down but that's my concern is that when I go to screw this back down is this actually going to hold or not but I've got a suspicion there's going to be new new um, studs required but we'll see how we get on. I haven't got a tap and die set to re tap them, but they are absolutely stripped. So we'll see how it goes. And I may just say to him it needs a new set of, uh, of studs. They're not expensive. And it will help. If anyone can find me the link to those, save me a job. And that'd be handy. HR, Honda HRB 423 carburetor stud. Some can find me a link. I'll be much appreciated. Well, that all goes on there. Uh, we've got, oh, made a mistake. That goes on first. It's a shame it goes on there because it'll give me a bit more threads to muck about with. Goes in there, all goes on to there. Yeah, obviously I haven't got a lot of threads there to work with. That's going to be my problem. I don't know if I'm getting that on that. What's occurring? I can't. Uh, can't get a, a nut on that because I can't even get that to run down now, which is my concern. I mean, that's as tight as it should be. So why can't I get anything to lock onto that? So I need to try and get something on that on that nut there on that stud. That's what I need to try and do. Once I've got one on it might just draw it in a bit. This may be a bit of a, a fiddle. I don't have to grind anything off. But that won't go any further back. And that carburetor is exactly where it needs to be. I can just about maybe get a thread on it. But it's as if they're the wrong studs. just can't physically get one to bite on there. It's like that carburetor's not gone back enough. 
That's what it's like. I don't want to put, don't want to remove that gasket because that's why it leaked in the first place. I might try it without the gasket on the back. So we don't always have gaskets on the back. just cannot get that to bite. This is doing my head in now. I've got a couple of spare gaskets here. I'm trying to get one in the fit. I don't want to put nothing on the back. I'm sure that's why it leaked last time. Positive of it. And these are Honda gaskets. They are, they do fit. But it's, I don't think they're, they're quite the right ones. But as long as it covers the hole at the back right, then uh, it shouldn't be an issue. It's getting the right one to fit. I'll go for that one, I think. Seems to be a better, a better fit all round. Just to see if that makes any difference. In fact, I'm going to go for that one. Let's put that one on. And that'll give me about two or three mil. Yeah, that's giving me a bit more. I'm just have to see if it leaks or not, but I'm hoping it won't. Um, metal gasket. I should get some like Roy the boy does. He actually makes his own gaskets with gasket paper. I should get back into doing that. I used to do it years ago. But this never had a gasket when it came to me. I bought it off of a fella in um, Emsworth, this mower. Right, let me refit these um, arms back on and then we'll go from there. Okay, it's all fitted back on and it's choking as it should do. Put that back on. And then that little clip, <clears throat> so I have to fight with now for half an hour. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of him clips, I tell you. I just never want to play ball. Got him. Right, that's now all back on. As it should be. So that now should give me at least two or three mil. Um, on the back and hopefully that'll hold that the seal. I don't have no spare studs to fit it, that's a definite. That goes in there, that goes under there, that goes in there. It's not giving me a lot more but it has given me a bit. Hopefully just enough just to start that nut off. Isn't it funny how it was on there earlier and now it don't want to go on at all. You guys get one started just to help pull it down. So that one's got, that one's taken. Let me try and encourage that one in just ever so slightly and see if it'll pull that other, that other one round. I don't want a lot, just want enough just so I can literally just start it. About there. That was, uh, this top one was a good one. I don't know if it's got it or not. Every time it feels like it's biting, it then goes back. I don't think it has. No. Well, right, I need to manufacture something here for it to um, take that stud because the threads are absolutely shocked. I don't think going backwards or not, I don't know. No. So I may have to just cut a piece of this out 
so that I can get it just to butt in because the threads are quite good halfway down. So I might just do a bit of manufacturing there just to try and get that just to seat. It's darn near cool. Just when you think it's got it, it hasn't. So I'm going to get my grinder and try and push on a bit more. That. Yeah, it hasn't got it. I want, I want that just to seat a bit more, ever so slightly. So yeah, I'm going to cut a piece off of there just to try and support it better. And probably the same here as well, just to give it a bit more, more to bite and I'll come back to you. Right, so all I've done is I've just trimmed down these edges here. There it goes. It's doing up. And I might even find some good threads back there as well. Yep. Yeah. That one as well. The threads are knackered. That's what it is, but hopefully it will now bite and find something solid to go against. That one doesn't want to go. I'm going to take the studs out and try and clean them up if they don't go much more. Or try and find a slightly smaller nut to wind on there. Right, I think what it is, is that the collar on this um, nut is striking just that edge there. So I'm going to try and ground this off, this nut. So I don't have an 8mm nut somewhere. Well, I've probably got loads, but I just can't find them. So I'm going to try and ground that off so that's nice and, uh, nice and smooth and then try and run it down. But that's what it is, it's catching on that collar there. That's why it's not biting down. It won't go past that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, if not, I'll try and trim a bit more off of here, but there's not a lot more meat there to have. Right, I think we have success. Just wanna try and clean my hands. I'm a bit oily. I'm struggling just to um, get that to tighten down now. But uh, I don't wanna give it too much physic because uh, I don't wanna strip the threads anymore than what they are, but it is now really fitting down well. That's about as much as I want to go with it. And that one we know was already biting down anyway. It's got to be tight because uh, it's got to form a vacuum. There. Oh, I'll give it no more. Well, right, that's on tight. I ain't going nowhere. It's as tight as I can get it. Let's give that a go anyway. See how we get on. And the good thing is that fuel's been on all the time since, and it's not um, it's not showing any signs of leaking yet. So uh, hopefully we might have we might have fixed that issue. But it will want a new set of studs put on it. But I should let the, let the bloke know. So hopefully that'll, uh, that'll fix the issue. It's on there. All right, let's get it outside and let's uh, let's see what happens. All right, just want to check for leaks one more time. It's leaking off the back of this paper here, which is not currently. So let's see how we get on. A bit of choke. some fuel down. If it is, it's all the way back. I can't go any further back if it tries. Weird. 
dead man don't seem to be doing a lot. Hmm, strange. If it is, it's all the way back. I can't go any further back if it tries. That dead man doesn't seem to be doing a lot. Strange. Right, let's put a bit of Swiss squirt in it. See what happens with that. Mm. Yes, that carburetor. That carburetor's not very happy, is it? Don't say it'd be a new carb. Surely. It could be. running fine, just packed up. Choking, as it should. Do a bit of that good stuff. Let's check the plug, see what that's doing. Definitely sounds like fuel to me, not a plug problem. It's got an NGK in it. A bit oily, let's put a new plug in there. See if it makes any difference. And it shouldn't do. It definitely sounds like fuel to me. Let's just try that. No, it's definitely fuel. All right, that'll be a, even another carburetor on there. Or um, another donor carb because it is firing without it. But as soon as you take it off the choke, it don't want to know. My governor arm's all working. Everything's working as it should do. So I'm afraid it's a video fail, but that's what it's, that's what it is. Of carburetor for him. That's one for burn down there now. Not my day today. Look at that guy. Anyone see it? It is. Definitely not leaking. 
I'll put it back together, give it one more go, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's a funny thing. I just put all back together and really done them nuts up really, really tight, as tight as I can get them. Done nothing else to it. Okay, so actually quite happy with that. A little nice little work around it, saved some many parts. It no longer needs a new um, studs because I've got good threads down the bottom to help work with. A um, bit of modification, yeah, I know some of you may not agree with that, but sometimes it's a work around. Otherwise, you know, a new uh, set of studs is gonna be 10 quid plus, you know. Um, it, it starts racking up very quickly. I'm, not, I'm trying to keep my prices down uh, so that customers keep coming back. So that's now doing its 20 minute test. You can hear it outside rattling away. Uh, it's been going for about uh, five or seven minutes so far. I've got to check the stopwatch. And as long as it doesn't misbehave within the 20 minutes, then as far as I'm concerned, that's good to go. So that's another video all done and dusted. Another machine and good to go and cut grass. And hopefully I won't see it again. But if I do, I do. Um, but I think if I do next time, it will require new studs and possibly um, a new carburetor. So I don't like having jet stain in there. So. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mows. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to smash the old subscribe button, the like button, the share button, the whack the old bell. And also, any comments, positive or negative, I don't really mind. You know where to stick them. Big shout out to the Small Engine Nation. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon. But until next time, take it easy.